สวัสดีค่ะ Welcome to Hot Thai Kitchen. So in Thailand, there's a dish where spaghetti noodles are cooked with dried chilies, garlic, and Thai basil, and that sounds really good, right? Right. Except whenever I would order this, it would be kind of like meh. So I decided to come up with a recipe that I think this dish should be what it really wants to be deep down inside, and that's what we're gonna make today. Let's get started. So this recipe goes very quickly. So I'm gonna drop my pasta, which I have changed from spaghetti to linguine because I have determined that it is a better shape for this kind of sauce. Um, my pasta water is salted, obviously, and because linguine is a little bit flat, you want to be here and give it a good stir until the water comes back to a full boil before you walk away and let it go. With spaghetti, it's round; they don't stick together, so you don't have to worry about that. Now I'm going to set my timer for one minute less than what the instructions call for because I want to finish cooking in this pan. Now a little bit of oil. Lots and lots of garlic, and I'm gonna turn the heat on low, just low for now, because I don't want the garlic to burn. I want to give it lots of time to infuse. Okay. Oh, more oil. Definitely more oil. While the garlic is going, we're gonna come back and do our secret ingredient, which is anchovies. I'm gonna just mince them, and if you're thinking, no, I don't do anchovies, just trust me on this. Because we're mincing it, it's going to just like melt and dissolve into the pasta, and it'll add incredible umami. It'll just integrate into the dish. There we go. Now anchovies gonna also go into the wok, and I'm gonna slowly and gently cook this. Give it like three, four minutes for the garlic to really. Soften and infuse its flavor. In Thailand, what they would do is they use pieces of salted fish or bacon, crispy bacon bits. But I want to use anchovies because I kind of want that umami to like coat all the noodles, not just pieces in separate places. Now that's going. We give the pasta a quick stir just to make sure nothing is sticking. That's looking good. And as the anchovies dry out, they're gonna start to like. Fry and pop. That's actually a really good sign that we are ready to go. I'm looking for the garlic to turn ever so slightly golden, not brown, because that'll be bitter. And then I'm gonna go in with my ground dried chilies. And this right here is gonna make this dish sing. You can buy ground chilies if you want, but what I did is actually took whole dried chilies. I removed some of the seeds and I ground it myself because I want to be able to add a ton of chili flavor without it being too spicy. But if you just add store-bought chili flakes, it could be too spicy and you can't add too much of it, right? So I'm just gonna wait till I start to smell a little bit of smokiness, which is what I like, and I've turned off the heat because at this point I'm just gonna wait for my pasta now, which still has. Four minutes and 50 seconds. See, you can relax. Okay, I've got golden crispy garlic, nice and smoky chilies. In goes a little bit of butter because this is not traditional. But I have found that it just adds a nice creaminess that really adds to this pasta, which really doesn't have much else to it. And then the other secret ingredient, oyster sauce. Yes. Oyster sauce is gonna add. It's not really secret. They add oyster sauce in Thai pasta all the time, but in this dish, I chose oyster sauce as opposed to say soy sauce because oyster sauce has that sort of sweetness that will balance the saltiness of the anchovies. It's also quite thick, and it'll add to the body and the lusciousness of the sauce. And that's pretty much our sauce. Now you can just go relax while you wait for the pasta. Before we move on, I want to tell you about one of my favorite things. Audible. So I go to bed literally every night with Audible in my ears. I've been doing it for years. So Audible is the place to go for spoken word entertainment. That's audiobooks, of course, but also podcasts and comedy and so much more. Now I'm a slow reader, so when I listen, I can get in way more reading because I can be listening while I'm doing dishes, grocery shopping, or as a bedtime wind down routine. 
My current favorite title is called Atomic Habits by James Clear, which is all about building good habits and breaking bad ones. It's all science-based, but also very inspirational. So if you're thinking about building a new habit for the new year, I highly recommend it. How Audible works is every month you get one credit for any title, bestsellers, new releases, you name it, and it's yours to keep forever. And you also get unlimited access to the Plus catalog, which has thousands of titles, including classics like Sherlock Holmes and also original shows by top celebrities. If you've always wanted to read more but never seem to have the time, trust me, Audible is the way to go. And right now, there's a special holiday offer. For a limited time, you can save 60% on your first three months, so that's only $5.95 a month. So head over to audible.com slash pylin, or you can text pylin to 500 500 and that is p-a-i-l-i-n okay the pasta is done gonna bring that <laughs> okay and now i'm gonna bring the pasta i'm not gonna drain it i'm just gonna grab this with tongs and directly put it into the pan you can keep the heat off for now and when i do this i bring along some of that pasta water which will help bind the sauce a little bit because there's some starch in there. Now the heat can go back on because the pasta is still slightly under by design because by allowing it, oh my God, look at that. That just looks so good already. By allowing it to finish cooking in the sauce, it'll absorb, have time to absorb some of that sauce into the noodles. Oh my God, that looks so good. It looks so spicy, but it's not, I think. I hope. I didn't take the seeds out of all the chilies, only some of them, and I'm just hoping that... Oh, nice. So this is like one hefty portion if you're just going to eat it by itself, but this is a two portion if you're going to serve it like with a side of protein, which like a side of pan fried fish goes incredibly well with this. And once all the sauce has been absorbed, I'm going to turn this off and then our kind of optional but highly recommended ingredient is some Thai basil. You can stop here, like this is delicious. But adding just a handful of Thai basil, not too much, like that's it, just brings a little bit of freshness and herbaceousness to this dish. It kind of helps lighten it up a bit. And I only want to add a little bit because I don't want this to like taste like Thai basil stir fry, you know, with nothing wrong with that, but that's not the flavor that I'm going for. I just need a touch of freshness. You could go with cilantro or something like that if you'd like. And that is it, you guys. Look how delicious that looks. Wow. Oh my goodness. Just look at that. Who needs anything else but a pile of chili e garlicky noodles? Some bits in the wok that shall not be wasted. Garnish of Thai basil. Bing. Look how cute that is. Let's eat because this is too much, too much temptation. Now that we're done with the garnish, it can go over there. Oh my God. Just I'm telling you, you cook that dry chilies just so that it's a little bit smoky. That is one of the best things I've ever put in my mouth. It is perfectly spicy. Like instantly, as soon as it touches your tongue, you get that umami because of the anchovies. It's like mixed in there and the oyster sauce, slight smokiness from the chili, super garlicky. I mean, like a side of protein would probably be nice, but really like a bowl of this and you are guaranteed satisfied. So the recipe as always will be on hotthaikitchen.com. You definitely want to try this out. If you are a noodle fan, garlic fan, chili fan, this is the best of all of those things combined. And special thanks to our Patreon members who help support the show. If you want to watch the videos ad-free like our Patreon members and want to know how to do that, check it out. I'll put the link in the description below. Thank you as always for watching and I will see you next time for your next delicious time.